Liberal leader Justin Trudeau here in Regina speaking to the Chamber of Commerce later this afternoon, but we get to speak with you first. Thanks so much for talking with us. Well, it's great to be back. Justin, uh, let's talk a little bit about your speech. We don't want to give it all away, but uh, what do you want Saskatchewan people to hear? I want people to understand that uh, we have challenges in this country that requires a federal government that's willing to listen and engage with communities and respond to those challenges, whether it's around infrastructure spending or uh, investments in education, uh, uh, making a, a stronger case for trade and, and how we need to get our resources to markets. Uh, these are things that our, our government hasn't done a great job on lately and I'm, uh, I'm uh, here to talk about how we can do it better. The Liberal Party of Saskatchewan, very synonymous with Ralph Goodale. What is the plan after Ralph retires because he's known, he's loved, and you know people expect him to be at places? Well, Ralph isn't going to be retiring anytime <laughs> soon. I'm going to be counting on him for uh, many, many years to come, as will uh, people of Saskatchewan. But uh, what's really exciting to me right now is we have a lot of amazing new candidates coming forward, expressing interest, wanting to be part of the team, wanting to see an alternative. Uh, for too long, uh, people in, in the West have been taken for granted by the Conservative Party. And uh, to be able to say, you know what, there's another option out here. Not only Saskatchewan, but the West is a tough political playground for the Liberals. How do you target seniors, your voters, the people that are constantly going to the polls that perhaps may be set in a conservative mindset? Well, I think one of the things that we're seeing is people are a lot less uh, branded to particular parties than they than they once were. Uh, you know, the amount of information people have access to, the 24-hour news cycle, the thousands of channels on TV means that uh, people are really interested in uh, how we're moving forward and aren't so much looking at the past. A lot of seniors I've spoken to are really, whether it's on the veterans file or whether it's on housing and pensions, really disappointed with this conservative government and uh, very eager to to see uh, what kind of uh, legacy uh, they're going to leave as they uh, as they vote for a different party. Uh, young people, the younger younger generation, I can see I can see the appeal that they have for you. I, how do you get them to the polls, though? Because well, they traditionally don't vote. Yeah, I mean, y young people, uh, far from being apathetic, are usually extremely interested and engaged in the world. They're very knowledgeable about it. They're getting involved in all sorts of different single-issue causes and, and local initiatives. Uh, they just don't necessarily feel that politics is a particularly useful uh, you know, way for them to make a difference or get involved. How and do you that's change that? I'm trying to change by bringing them in, by listening to them, by talking about the things that matter to them, whether it's possibility of finding better jobs in the coming years, uh, whether it's uh, net neutrality, whether it's uh, issues around big issues like the environment or, or uh, climate change or, or poverty. You know, there's a range of things that young people say, we want to see a better world uh, and how are you going to shape that? That's, that's the kinds of things I'm talking about. If an election was called today, in what way would you, Justin Trudeau, be vulnerable? Well, I've committed to only going positive. Uh, I'm not going to uh, employ attack ads because I feel that attacks actually remove your capacity, even though they might help you get elected, they remove your capacity to govern for everyone because you go and divide people and scare them when you want to bring people together. So uh, if attack ads are going to be the most effective way of getting elected, I'm going to be vulnerable because I'm going to stay positive. I'm going to stay focused on bringing people together. Where's your party vulnerable though in terms of wh what is the, the spot that you want to target and make sure you build up. Well, I think just a sense that uh, politics doesn't have to be a source of cynicism. Uh, you know, we, we're, we're putting together a positive vision that's going to require people to vote for. Because when you're a party that sits in a responsible middle position, if people are voting against, well, you sit on the right, you vote against the left. You sit on the left, you vote against the right. You bypass the Liberal Party altogether, which has happened in past years. We need people to vote for. We need people to vote for uh, a vision, an engaged, uh, responsible plan for the future of this country, and that's what I'm going to be providing, and that's the team that I'm going to be delivering to do it. Last question. Let's quickly touch on that, your abortion stance. I mean, you want your MPs to all vote pro-choice. Mm -hmm. Isn't that impeding on their freedom of thought, their freedom of belief, their freedom of opinion, some of those values that your father brought into the Charter? Absolutely, and, and people can, it, it, but my position is about respecting people's freedom to have uh, a choice, to have a, uh, a voice, and have an, an opinion uh, that, is, that is theirs. But with their votes, 
they don't get to take away the freedoms of others. That's the responsibility you have if you want to be an MP. You have to understand that your vote uh, matters to the 100,000 people you represent and to everyone in this country. And the Liberal Party is the party that stands up for people's rights and will protect women's rights. And that's why we're unambiguous on the, on the issue of a woman's right to choose. Even if constituents in their riding are saying, we don't believe in the pro-choice stance. Canadians all across the country need to know uh, that if they vote Liberal, they get someone who will stand up for women's rights, period. Justin, we appreciate you speaking with us today. A real pleasure. Liberal leader Justin Trudeau speaking at the Chamber of Commerce lunch later this afternoon.